Hello everybody, my name is Chairman Ainsley, and this video is going to show you how to set up the RS5P on your old and new scanner. How do you get to your scanner? You will click this three horizontal lines here, and you want to go to old link. Click harmonic scanner. Click the word connect now. You're going to plug in your username and password and it will bring you here. Okay. The first step, you want to go here where it says candles and change your candles to Haikanashi. Okay. The next step you want to do is go here to where it says indicators and you want to type in the word E. M A, the letters E M A, and you're going to see where it says moving average exponential. Click it twice, one, two, and close out of that. Once you have clicked it twice, you will notice that they show up here on the top left. Okay, let's go to the first one, and we're going to click this little gear. It's going to say format. Okay, and once it brings you here, the format, we're going to change this 9 to 10, keep the offset to 0. We're going to go to style, change this to a nice, pretty royal blue, and we're going to slide this knob all the way to the left, so make it a deeper blue. We're going to slide this knob all the way to the right, and we're going to press OK. And as you can see, this blue line appears. Go to your second EMA, and we're going to do three and zero turn this nine to three keep the offset to zero we're going to change our plot to red slide the knob all the way to the left to make it a deeper red and then we're going to slide this knob all the way to the right okay to make the line thicker and we're going to press okay okay next we're going to go to indicators i'm going to type in ICA. Ikimoku Cloud. Here, we see it appears here on the top left. We're going to press gear, put input, and we're going to keep everything here the same. Okay. We're going to uncheck conversion line, uncheck baseline, uncheck lagging span. Okay. Then you're going to press OK. And boom, there you see we have some clouds form. Okay. Next indicator that we're going to add, we're going to do RSI, and you're going to see the relative strength index up here. Okay. Now actually, you didn't have to do that. Actually, your relative strength index is already down here. So just press the gear. We're going to change the input to five. We're going to go to style. We're going to turn this to a nice hot pink. Slide your knob to the left. Slide this knob all the way to the right. And we're going to uncheck lower limit in H lines. With upper limit, we're going to make this black. We're going to slide this knob all the way to the right, as you can see. And we're going to change this 70 to 50. Press OK, and you should see a nice, pretty pink line here. OK? Then next, we're going to do money float. So your money flow index. We're going to press the gear. We're going to make our inputs five. We're going to change this to yellow. Slide this all the way to the left. Slide this all the way to the right. And we're going to uncheck mm -hmm. all three of these. And we're going to press OK. Now, you'll notice that there's two different sections. We want to merge these two. So we want to double click or just click on the yellow line, you'll see some white dots appear. Just hold on to one of the dots, drag it up, 
Boom. Then we have our relative strength index and our money flow index in one section. Go to indicators, we're gonna add our momentum line. Just type in mom, momentum pops up. Down here at the bottom, our input is gonna be five. Our style, we're gonna make it a nice pretty royal blue. Slide the knob to the left. Slide this knob all the way to the right. As you see, it got a little bit thicker. And then we're gonna drag this up as well. And we have all three. And now we're gonna add our last two indicators, which are the MACDs. Just type in M-A-C-D and click it twice. You have your two MACDs, okay? So for your MACDs, we're gonna do a green MACD and we're gonna do a red MACD. And the first MACD we're gonna do is green. And we wanna make this five, 10, and one. And one. And for a style, we're gonna keep Instagram. We're gonna uncheck MACD. For histogram, we're gonna make it black. We're gonna slide the knob all the way to the right. And we're gonna click price line. Don't forget price line. Signal, we're gonna make this lime green, make it darker, slide it all the way to the right. Make sure it says scale right, and we're gonna press okay. That's the green MACD. Now for the second MACD, we're going to do red, and this is gonna be 12, 18, and one. We're gonna to go to style and we're gonna uncheck Instagram. We're gonna uncheck MACD. We're gonna keep this red. Change our slide our knob all the way to the left. Slide the knob all the way to the right. Boom, now you have two separate MACDs. Now we're gonna merge them together the same way. Boom. Now, before we move forward, go back to style, go back to your format and make sure it says scale right on both. Make sure it says scale right on both, good. So here's your setup for the RS5P. And one last thing, right here, we have a price line, it's a dotted, red dotted line, okay? This red dotted line will be at a different location where you're at when you're looking at this video. It'll either be a, a thin, blue line or a thin red line as you see here. Just double click on it and you wanna come down to where it says price line. Very important. Slide this knob to the right. This is your price line and what it does, it makes your price line a lot visible, a lot more visible. You're gonna go here to the this black arrow right here and you're gonna say this as RS5P strategy and you're going to click save and there is the setup for the rs5p again my name is chairman ainsley and you all have a blessed day